perhaps you can share with us uh, what you have got for us today. Okay, so um, to further to some of the points we discussed just now, I actually brought um, a very humble bottle. It's one of the cheapest bottles in our uh, portfolio. It's a Muscadet, uh, which is a white wine from the west of France. And it retails for just a bit over $30 on the, in the market. And um, the reason why we bring, why I've chosen that bottle of wine is it's one of the first wineries that we started with. So when we, when we had our first shipment in 2011, uh, that was this wine was in the first shipment that came to Singapore, and it was also and it still remains, as I have said, um, one of the lower priced bottles we have in the portfolio. But regardless of that price, we still elect to ship it in a what we call a refrigerator container. And we still elect to store it with Singapore Wine Vault at uh, 12 degrees Celsius. And that's because we know how much work the winemaker has put into that bottle of wine, even though it's not expensive. And it would be a shame to take that bottle of wine and then to lose its finer qualities by trying to skip on storage cost. On this. Great. So let us open up that bottle there. Nice aromas. Yeah. So as I was saying, uh, it's a Muscadet Sav and Main. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's a Surly. So, surly as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it means that it's been aged on the leaves, which are the solid, you could say, byproducts of the fermentation process. Um, and it's been aged on the leaves for about 10 months, which gives it that sort of, for me, a seashell flavor. Yeah, it has a little bit of uh, sea breeze uh, or a, a little bit of salty tang. That's right, which I detected. Yeah. yeah. And it's, a, it's a wine that most, uh, most often used at the table with seafood, uh, especially oysters. Yeah, I mean, if you have the seafood platters, right? Yeah. This is, this is an excellent choice. Huh? And, um, for me, it, it, this bottle in particular represents a lot of what we do. So it's a, you could say it's a humble wine. It's not expensive. It is farmed organically on um, the certification is, is on the back label and it's what we call an honest wine so it speaks of where it comes from so it comes from the area around Nantes um, which is a port town yeah. facing the Atlantic Ocean and it's for me unmistakably French there's a lightness there's a je ne sais quoi about it that uh, you don't get with wines from other countries yeah, this is so fresh. What, what vintage are we looking at? Over here? It's the 213. Uh, 2015. 15? Yeah, yeah, it's the 215. And more than just speaking of the place, um, it also speaks of the year, the vintage. So 2015 was actually a very ripe, very sunny vintage in, in the Loire Valley. And since then, they, they've, they've had very bad luck with frost and hail in 2016 and 17, but 15 was one of the glorious vintages, really good. And then more than just where it comes from and when it came, which vintage it came from, uh, it also speaks to who actually made the wine. So the domain was started by this chap called Marc Olivier back in the 1980s. And I've been drinking his wine since the early 2000s uh, through my importer friend in New York, because these wines were uh, never came into Singapore. And so when we started importing him, he had just brought on an apprentice called Remy. And I would say 2014, 2015 was when Mark really took a step back from the domain. He now spends far more time fishing and hunting mm -hmm. and doing the things that he wants to do apart from farming. Uh, and Remy is the one who's making the wine. So he's got a slightly different touch, uh, which is apparent to, to someone like us because uh, we're so familiar with the wines. It's a slightly more generous wine than Mark would have made, uh, I would say, uh, but none the worse for it. Lovely choice. Thank you so much, Isin, for Thank sharing this with us. Yeah. Thanks for the opportunity.